We're back in the mansion, which means this will be my final video on Imposter Factory. There's uh, gonna be a lot to unpack. We just exited the memory room, and uh, now we'll learn what exactly this is all about. And I can say, stuff is gonna turn just a little bit weird. So let's just dive right back into it, shall we? Downstairs. Okay, let's follow then. What is it? I mean, what isn't it? But... For one, I guess I'm still trying to get used to this being the real you. Yeah, I believe it takes some getting used to. I, I didn't mean that in a bad way. And even then, why would you care about what I think anyway? Since we are some... Simulation? Right, that's what we are, right? A simulation? Downstairs. Should... Should we follow? We should follow, right? Oh, maybe I should have checked the other rooms first. Uh... Oh, well. Oh, no, they're all here. All part of the simulation. Whoa. We don't dare to say that out loud now, do we? <laughs> Entity deactivated. Hold on, so your simulation ended up us getting chased into the bathroom. If we didn't chase if we didn't run to the bathroom, could we get killed? But wait wait, we're not alive, so let's just join them I suppose. And deactivate. Oh, this this sounds weird. She seems preoccupied. Maybe I could sneak around first. Engage. Not yet. Let's sneak around first. Okay, so it's just gonna be Entity Deactivated. Let's go back to the bathroom. Anything special here? Just an ordinary sink, yeah. Sneak around. What do we have to sneak around for? Is there something special? Haha, <laughs> the chefs. Also, now that we're here again... Is this supposed to be the shaft to the... Basement to the labs Otherwise, I don't see anything remotely close that could resemble a shaft Still that's weird because this is supposed to be like what refrigerator Hmm anything else over here could we I mean we now know about the secret, but uh, we can't open it or whatever. Well, I guess then the prototype is right over there. We now know what it is. And I'm still wondering why the murder mystery stuff? Why is that part of the simulation? Like, that wasn't part of real life. That didn't happen. Or is it just anger management class? Killing? Can we go outside? Probably not. The clock? It's 3.21. It's okay, the clock. Time d does move. Time does move. We can go outside. What the pug? What do you mean? This is how we, this is how we found this place when we got here. This fountain. Wasn't there something on it? There used to be, yes, but I'm not sure if there was when we arrived. I guess the place is just getting more and more weird now, but Maybe I should ask Linry if I get a chance. Fox is also gone. Still gone. Also, isn't that like... I don't know. Isn't it over here? No. No, it's just a birdhouse. Hmm. Oh well. There's nothing to our left, right? There's the abode. That's overgrown a little, yeah. Otherwise nothing else. Nope. Doo -doo -doo. Let's go back inside. Time to ask her. Time to engage, I suppose. Maybe check the crystals. A large amethyst display seems to glow from within. Ah, so that's what it is. This is what is a projecting... Ah. <laughs> Understood. Hey. It's almost ready. What is? 
And what's all this? I've been compiling a batch test case to check for certain suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Too soon? It felt like I was in there for quite a while. You ran a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Crazy. Resuming compilation, 67%. We still got some waiting time. Maybe we could ask some questions? Actually, while we're waiting, I have a question for you. For me? Yes. Wait, but that means- wait, the real one is still running out there. Why are you talking to us and not to him? Given what you've seen... Given what you've seen... Am I a terrible, selfish person? No. No, I wouldn't say that. It's, um... It's just the way she handled the end of the relationship. I mean, I get the death of a child can be a big thing, but ignoring your partner, not talking to them anymore, just completely dropping them, it's a, it, it doesn't feel right now, you know? It, it doesn't feel right. No, but it feels like a very good uh, sentence. Yeah. I don't think that's fair to say. I mean, I can't say that you did all the right things, but... And here comes the... Th this is the thing about but. Everything before the but actually doesn't count. That's what I've learned anyway. <laughs> you say something good and then comes the but and there it is. That's that... What follows is the real deal. <laughs> I don't know how many people could have if they were actually in your shoes. But selfish? I suppose so. I wasn't... I mean, Quincy wasn't exactly altruistic either, but... Lots of buts here. He really did seem to try his best to put your happiness above all else. And he did, if you ask me, a great job at it. A better job than anyone else would, probably. A better job than I would, in that case. I mean, you have to put your whole life in, in the meaning of the other. I don't know if I could do that. It asks a lot of you. It asks a whole lot of someone. Linry? Compiling 72%. <laughs> you can't ignore us now, Linry. Otherwise, those will be a very awkward 28%. <laughs> I see. Well, we still have time, so I'll return the favor. Anything you'd like to ask me? Why? Because she's gonna delete us or wipe our memory? Perhaps no. Kind of feel like this is good. This is what's gonna happen. Hmm. Why do you even care what I think? I mean, if I am what I am, why are you even talking to me as if I'm actually him? Because you. Because I'm supposed to be testing your believability, that's all. Is that so? Compiling 76%. Yeah, you're not making it less awkward, system. Nope. Nope, you're not making it less awkward. Now, would you like to ask any actual questions while this time? Decline? We could decline. Uh, let's do it for the research purpose then, I guess. I also wonder about a few stuff. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sing time travel. Yeah, the murders. Why the murders? What's up with the murders? That's the main question I have here. So, what's with the murders happening here? I mean, this simulation is based on your memories, right? How come I didn't see it in the flashbacks? Because the murders never happened. Yeah. 
At least I don't remember it happening. Which is strange because it seems to be unavoidable in this simulation based on my memory. Did you figure out why? And who killed them then? Also, this simul if this seems inevitable in this simulation, does that mean that the simulation is flawed? Not yet, but with what I'm setting up, I'm afraid I'm about to. Compiling 82%. Uh, the double learn. Uh, wait, what else, what else do we have more? Previous time tunnel room? Nah. The real Quincy! Also, yeah, the missing fountain statue. I feel like this is like a little secret that I could ask, but I'm, I'm first gonna ask the real Quincy. I hope you don't mind me asking, but quite a few years get by at the end of that montage. What happened to me? I mean, uh, Quincy? I don't know. Oh wow, that's indifferent. You don't know? I don't. It's been many years since we've talked. And whose fault is that? Sorry, I'm not gonna blame... You know what? No, I am gonna blame her. I am gonna blame her. He was the one who called her, and she ignored her phone. She, she is the one who broke contact. After everything that happened, we just went our separate ways. I don't think Quincy chose to go his separate way. I don't think he did. Or perhaps, more accurately, I did. There we go. At least she's owning up to it. Compiling 88%. It's almost complete. There's time for just a couple more questions. The missing fountain statue. I feel like this might be, uh, I don't know. It's gotta be a secret, right? Why is it missing? Not many people would have run outside and then talked to her, I suppose. So what is this about? Oh yeah, I just saw something weird outside. You know that fountain? There was... The hell? What the hell just happened? See, this is what I mean. This was a little secret. Is there a bug in the program? Is that why the murders keep happening? Because there's a bug in here? Somewhere? Huh. The time tunnel room, real Quincy, I've asked the real Quincy. Time tunnel room, not exactly that interested in it. Sync time travel. Should I ask... Sync time travel? Yeah, sync time travel, I guess. About that sink in the washroom... I know now that time wasn't being rewound, but... Why did it do what it did? The sink never did anything. I know it's hard to believe, but... It was a coincidence. That's... That's a real odd coincidence. Or rather a series of coincidences that happened over and over. As I was debugging, I reset the scenario a few times in the process. It was an oversight, but because you were an inserted entity and not native, you were not reset. And I just happened to be using that sink every time you did a reset? Yes. I <laughs> mean, come on. There are coincidences and there are like... Too, yeah, too much of a coincidence. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? It is sorely improbable, but still above a 0% possibility. One of the reasons for my suspicion, actually, but we'll test that soon. Compiling 94%. One last question and we're starting. Okay, and then there's, I guess, the final one, the time tunnel room. I'm still intrigued why the game glitched. Well, the simulation glitched when we wanted to ask about the statue outside. Hmm. Time tunnel room. That room upstairs that you sent me in. What's so special about it? Oh yeah, what is the what is the real purpose of that room? I've just never been to that particular room in all my years here, that's all. Oh, okay, so it's just a black hole in your memory. Since this place is based on my memories, it's just a void space in there. So I used it. Honestly, there are still a lot of issues with these reconstructions. 
The exterior seems to be based on a more recent memory of it than the interiors, for one. Still a lot of work to be done. Compiling 100%. And we're done. So we're gonna go through the simulation one more time. Okay, it's ready. I've prepared a batch of test scenarios with particular variables. Notably, the location of Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu and their intent. As for you, you'll be my observer. Observer? Yep. All you have to do is go into the rooms and look at them. That's easy. Look at them, to check if they're dead. What? That's easy, but less appealing. It's for science. Oh, then, uh, yay? <laughs> so excited. Ooh, we got to see dead people. <laughs> Indeed. You ready? <laughs> yes, yes, definitely yes. Definitely yes. Great. Now check the bathroom. The bathroom? Yep. I stuffed them there first. Can you not? That bathroom is like the only sanctuary I had left. Uh, there was still the kitchen. We still had the kitchen. There was nothing happening in the kitchen. Oh, and the kitty room. The kitty room was also safe. I think. It's fine. I'll be monitoring and waiting right out here. Besides, you need to learn to get out of your comfort zone. It's, wow, that was oddly personal. Oh, we're way beyond the very concept of comfort zone. Hmm. <laughs> so, we're gonna see some dead doctors in here, huh? So, wait, no, there's not, they're not dead. Are they? Uh, I see them. Good, now come back out. But they're not dead. Hello? They don't seem responsive. I guess I should just head out. Please don't glitch out when I go. Okay, they don't glitch out. So, alive or dead? Alive? I think? They aren't moving or responsive though. Yeah, I've set them on a different layer. Okay, then we have to go to what? Down left? Okay, now go back in and out a few more times and report the status. Alright. What the hell? Whoa! Creepy. Creepy. We are an observer. Now, still alive, but they're closer. Oh, that was me, sorry. We were for convenience. You couldn't have said that? Go on again. Okay, well, now they're gonna be close, I suppose. Oh, yep, yeah, now they're dead. Oh, sh- Oh, pug! <laughs> Lin! Linroy! Dead! Linroy! They're, they're dead! Ah. <sighs> You sure? I'm pretty sure. I think I know how dead people look. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Yes! This could be bad. It is bad! They're dead! Also, wait. Well, how are they supposed- Why are they dead? I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Just check the other rooms while I'm gone, alright? Wait, you're leaving us alone here in the simulation? Where people are turning up dead out of nowhere? I don't like that idea, honestly. Wait, you're leaving me alone to check for more bodies? What's the issue? You've already seen much worse earlier. Besides, you know they're not real. I know I'm not real! I mean, in terms of realness, they're just as real as me! Fair point. Could you please leave a clone of yourself behind or something? I don't know. Please? Okay then, here. <gasps> the cat! Yes! Kitty cat! What is this? 
You're a bodyguard. <laughs> uh, what? The, the cat only keeps the creepers away. It doesn't keep the zombies away. They're dead people. They're not creepers. My bodyguard? Yeah, he protect. <laughs> he attack, he protect. <laughs> okay, I'll be back soon. Good luck. I don't want to hear good luck in this scenario. What? Well, wait! Oh, for the love of God. Please, please let the cat speak or something. I don't know. Tell me. Do you really protect? Don't, don't run away. Don't run away. <laughs> you don't protect. <laughs> what the? I am system. Uh, hi, system? Oh, I've seen you in her memories. Good. System supervisors, Quincy, well, Linwright is gone. Do you now? I guess I'm gonna be babysat by a giant talking sound wave. Do not be afraid, for this is not my final form. I'm worried that this is not your final form, actually. Behold, a form even you may comprehend. Oh, it's the rice bot, of course! Rice bud? Indeed. Rice bud was merely the humble beginning of my AI. But now I am much more. Now you can actually proclaim that your rice is the best, huh? I am creator of worlds and cooker of rice. As long as you don't mix those. Cooker of worlds and creator of rice, that would be horrible. Taste my rice! Uh, I read it not. Taste it! I mean, if you are insisting. <laughs> the, cat, uh, the cat's gonna eat it as well. Holy mm, beep, bug, whatever. This, this, this is the tastiest rice I've ever eaten! <laughs> How could something taste this good? Maybe because I was programmed into you? I don't even know if his opinions are his own or part of the program. Nobody knows. You're supposed to know. I need to know! There is no way to know. But when Quincy completes mission, reward is more rice. Oh, what are we waiting for then? Let's go find them! <laughs> Ricebot's system joined the party. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, you, you can come too. <laughs> Cat joined the party. Now, let us proceed to... Go ahead. Where are we going first? The party hall. The kitchen. And the study. Repeatedly until they die. There ought to be a better way to put that. <laughs> also, the room that we uh, aren't able to go to, like the void space room, that's got to be the bedroom. I guess. It would make sense. So, they're uh, still very much alive. Let's do little circles. Doo -doo -doo. Scooby Doo moment. Nope, still quite, uh, quite much alive. Not interactable. Do, 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 do. Now they're dead. Nope, they're playing billiard. It's the first time I see these balls on the table. First time I actually see it being used. So, uh, when are they gonna die? Yep, there we go, they're dead. Anomaly detected! I mean, yeah, they're, they're kinda dead. You know, it might be weird to me how they use uh, this billiard table as a secret entrance to the labs, but there's like no marks on it. Zero, nada, nothing. Maybe, maybe I'm just going through a Mandela effect here. Uh, I'll just continue on and ignore it. Alright, time to go to the kitchen. 
But that's the only place where they didn't turn up dead, right? This was the only place that was not full of dead people. Okay, so they're there. Na, na, na. Oh, already dead. Wow, it's getting, it's happening sooner. Anomaly detected. As long as the anomaly isn't gonna start pursuing us or uh, do stuff to us. Stop. What do you mean, stop? Over time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love that little uh, reference here. Cool. Whoa, so powerful. <laughs> okay, up we go. We can go in here, right? Yeah, the door's locked. Quite a room in there. Can we go to the cat room? Ah, dang it. Oh well, to the study. Still very much alive. Can we go down? Uh, go around can we still go down here I can can I go ah locked dang it everything's just the same could I actually have a drink now I think we really deserve a drink ah who can't get it oh well it is what it is back outside and go back in all right go back out go back in Still very much alive. Wait, that was... No, 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 that was... <laughs> Here we go. This is the position that they were killed in last time we saw saw them, right? Yeah. That was the position. Now they're gonna be dead. Aha! I'm starting to see through the anomaly. Anomaly detected! But if... It's different, though. There are no footprints or whatever. Actually, it doesn't make sense anyway there is no murderer it's the simulation who does this okay so we've got all of them now uh what do we do now go back downstairs also why did the music stop i don't like that the music stopped linra is back but i have a feeling it's not her also where are the others oh boy oh boy I don't feel right about this. This feels wrong. This feels not like it's supposed to. It's not her. It's the anomaly. I can tell. Linray, you're back. Nope, she's not back. It's not her. Linray, what's going on? Wait, she hugged it? Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Nope, it's not her. I can already tell it's not her. Whoa, what are you doing? Uh, Linray? You're scaring me. I just need a moment. What happened? What did you see out there? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Hey, you can tell me. It's not like I'm gonna run with it. Linry? It's not her. Linry, initial tests were completed. The hypothesis holds. Continue. I mean, if that's the system... Wait, no, if the system is bugged, then the system wouldn't know that this isn't Linry. Is it really her? Yeah... I'll be there soon. Affirmative proceeding to party hall. The hypothesis? Please proceed to the party hall. Okay, so it, I suppose it's gonna be her then. Why is she looking so sad? Okay, well, we're in the party hall. Okay, we're back here. It is starting. This isn't her memory. She wasn't here. She d she shouldn't know about what happened. She was too late. The doctor, doctor, uh, cl close. Cl the doctor in the yellow lab coat. He's the one who tested it and died. Huh? I remember this from the memories. They demoed a machine here, right? I don't think the replay got that far, though. This is the furthest point. Huh? Death is variable, but... 
All death tangents lead to this moment. When they demo the machine for the guests? Affirmative. Data protects if we leave this room now. Everyone will die. Everyone here? Will die. Data predicts. What kind of machine did they build? That is a huge flaw. And if that is the prototype for what they've got going right now, then there must be a serious bug in it. Now let us leave this room. What? Do we have to? It is imperative. Leave this room and come back to confirm. Did someone's memories get jungled? Please leave and come back to this room. This scene will not be reset. And deaths are expected. Oh, so nothing's gonna happen. Or is it? If I wait long enough. Well, probably not. Okay, we leave. What the? She's gone. I don't like this. Data shows Lingry is online. Again? She will be back. I think the system might be a little bit corrupt. In the meantime, please return to party hall. And it's kind of using us for its simulation. I don't, th I don't think the simulation is supposed to kill all those people. Yep, they're dead all right. That's confirmed. Resetting room. Can we now stay? Wait, if you could just reset the room while we're in here. Why do we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for reset. Leaving was necessary for... What? What? Yeah, <laughs> I have the same reaction as Quincy. <laughs> Whenever we look, they do not die. Oh, so the prototype malfunctioned? I'm Loe. Whoa, what happened? I'm, I'm not certain. This isn't supposed to. It's never happened before. It seems to me like a bit too much went wrong during this demo. Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit in basement is destroyed. Destroyed? How? Data unknown. Resetting. Now, the final test. Quincy will go to basement. The core computer? Computing control room? Affirmative. It's not Linry who is inputting this, uh, these commands, right? It's you. Don't you dare trust your rice cooker at home. Don't you dare. It's it's gonna try and uh, please you with the rice, but damn, it's got some evil plans up its sleeve. Both sides will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly? Unknown. Okay, so I'll find out then. Do you remember the entrance? Yep, it's the pool table or the billiard table. The pool table? Affirmative. Can I get the cat with me please? At least the cat. Please proceed. I don't need any emotional support rise anymore, but please, please give me a cat. I want the cat. Wait. It is dangerous to go alone. Yes, give me the cat. Thank you. Take this. <laughs> this, it, it's probably got a name too. <laughs> oh, poor cat. Take this. Wait, what did you do to it? Take this. Cat joined the party? <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Uh, well, here we go, I guess. 
Beep. Oh, wait, it's a different platform. Okay, still, it would be way more... It would be way more safe if, if like, the pool table went up and was a secret elevator on its own, you know? Eh. Eh. I thought, uh, yeah. I, I was wrong. I I'll admit I was wrong. Okay, we're down. Kinda creepy with no one here, though. I mean, every medical facility is. I don't know what's up with that, but the architecture of medical facilities, it's always creepy. So, is it? Yeah, it's supposed to be that way, right? Oh, it even opens on its own. Also, since we're down here, let's, uh, let's troll around, let's troll around for a bit. Do, 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 do. Anything that looks like anomaly here. Not exactly. We could actually escape using the food shaft. And this is her room. So that explains why this area is dark as well. She never went there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and check on this. Uh, well, the office. Nothing in particular here either. Nope. Bum -ba -da 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 -da. Anything in the research lab? Not exactly. Nope. Nothing's off here. Time to go to Linry's research station. What the pug? Oh wait, it's a long ass corridor. That wasn't supposed to be here. I don't remember this hole being nearly this long before. Ooh, the lights are shimmering. Well, if something's gonna die, it's gotta be the cat, right? What was that? Oh, the cat's gonna bail on us. You're supposed to be our bodyguard, not... Uh, did you... Did you hear that? Something's not right. I have a feeling we might die here. Even though we are a simulation. <laughs> oh boy, this game suddenly got creepy. Okay, you know what? Stop! Just stop it! What the fuck is this? Why is the corridor so long? Also, wait, the light's back. Where does that light keep coming from? And what's with all the weird sounds? You hear that? Freaking creepy wood creaking? How? It's all metal and concrete here. Insert creaking door dot mp3. <laughs> there is no wood! And you? What do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife! I, I wouldn't like to see the cat having a knife. It's gonna stab us if, if it could. You're just a cat! And now that I think about it, you aren't even that long! If only you were actually helpful. <laughs> <laughs> we are having a serious meltdown here. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Don't run. Don't don't you dare run. It's just it's just been a rough day, you know. I mean first all the murders and then I find out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that's things. On the upside. I guess it really can't get any worse from here. Ah, oh, you had to jinx it. Ah, oh, you had to jinx it. Oh, you had to say it. You couldn't have just keep it in. You had to say it. Oh, well, now it's gonna get worse, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna get bloody hell worse. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. The light's kind of reacting to that. 
Wait, what was that? Why is my... No, no, it's evolving! It's evolving, it's like the magic carp. It's like a magic carp, only at a certain age... <laughs> only at a certain level it evolves into something useful. <laughs> you've... you've changed! You've become something else! Something... something more! What, is it fighting type? I guess it's fighting type. You're... you're taking the lead? Cool. At the darkest hour, you've really come through for me. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. And got even longer. Alright, let's go observe the puck out of that computer. The resolve. We're resolved. Oh, we're... Oh, we're actually controlling the cat now. Come at me, bro. We've got a cat that can punch. Hello? <laughs> The first thing that happens is the cat is already scared. Linry? You're... You're back! Yeah, sorry. I had to step out to double check something. Are you almost at the control center? Oh, so we are supposed to go there. Okay. Unless this is the computer. You know? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. Seems to be looping. Boy, I'll say. Wait, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. It should be fixed now. Uh, thanks? But why was it like that? I'm not certain, but the room should be just ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. Alright. Well, you heard a cat. Move! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Anything here? Nope, nothing. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Anything out of the ordinary? Not exactly. Well, we're finally here. You ready? Meow. <laughs> the cat. Okay, Linry, do you hear me? Yeah, the scene is ready and loaded. Should we, uh, prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your data stream. You only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. <laughs> well then, shall we begin? Begin the final test. Well, here we go, guys. Let's see where this ends. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. Mm-hmm. Also, how is this running if... Well, I guess it's based on the data from a memory, so the simulation is just collecting all this data and... I don't know. Building upon it? Yeah, it just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh huh. What was that noise? Do you see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. What is that noise? Although. Although. There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine short circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It's coming from the scan? It seems to be coming from. The vent. Someone's breaking in? Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Uh, this ain't normal. This ain't normal. Quincy? The system is almost ready. What are you seeing? Tentacles? 
What the fuck? There's no way tentacles attack the machine. They're forming, they're... Uh, should I run? I feel I should run. But something in me makes me want to watch. Just a weird entity now standing there. Who? Is that someone? Someone broke the machine. Don't move. We have a shield here to protect us. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? You want to know why? Then, are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier, when I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with. As if the entire world just vanished. Oh, she actually meant nothing. There was nothing. Am I not real either? No. You are real. Relative to this place, at least. Relative to this place. So not real, real. Lenry? Then, how many? Too many. Is this like something of a being of your former self? And you've kept researching through what? Simulations? Oh, this is strange. What is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. I mean, I could, I, I could tell. I may have created your world, but another had created mine. Oh, this is meta. Over and over until after however many layers. There's the real version. At the bottom of the stack, there exists a world that ran the first simulation. But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. Until finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, they all, colla they all collapse? It would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. And what would happen to the original then? Would they return to the real world? Tell me, are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. Why the Lovecraftian tentacles? Why was that a thing? Anyway. Then, there's something that I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why did you even bother talking to him? Hey! I'm right here! That's different, he's... No, 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 it's the same. He's... A simulation? Then why? Tell me... Who are we to you? Simulation? To me? Wait... Who are you? To me, you are no one. Who are you? But then again, that doesn't mean much. I'm not so different from that rice bot of this world after all. 
You don't look like a rice bot. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI refit for the simulations? Well, not exactly. But I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. These roles may be simulations, but the automation still follows the law of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything imploding. Oh, so that's why you decided to kill the generator here? The quantum physics computer? Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. Is she gonna blow it up or restore it? I feel like she's gonna blow it up. Hey! What are you? Yep, there it goes. Boom. Utterly destroyed. <laughs> Wait, a paper plane? We gonna fly? Cool. Shall we? I mean, it's a simulation. Everything's possible. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> oh, right. Some transparent platform to stand upon. Okay. There are a lot of tangents out there beyond this one. Each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. But this particular tangent is being observed because it's special. It's special because despite being at the top of the stack... Here it comes, here comes the mind twister. It was almost identical to base reality. Almost identical? So where did we differ then? Are we breaking the simulation now? What is happening? <laughs> there, everything began unfolding the same way. Ah, the lavender fields. Your childhood, your youth. The disease? Your diagnosis. And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Which was the right thing to do, I suppose. I mean, that's what I think. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can, while you still could. You learn all you could. Tried as hard as you could. Us against the world. You met someone. Someone you imagined the future with. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while at least. Until the accident, yeah. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. Now that you mention it, yeah, too much to bear. That's what happened at the end of the relationship, right? It became too much to bear and she ran. That's exactly what she did with the with the project once the accident happened. She ran. You escaped, traveled the world. That was a really beautiful moment. And wonders why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality, where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. The point where Toby died. Right? That's where it all differed. When he came back from the trip and found out you were pregnant, Wait, we kept the baby. Did they not keep it in reality? When you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. When you had to make that choice between yourself and the child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. 
You chose the child. Oh, and we chose Linrai. Did we choose wrong? Congratulations, but please, rest well. You need some time to recover, but we're quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to surgical unit soon. I understand. How is he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. Our little Toby Reynard. <laughs> Actually, about that... I've been thinking... Well... Maybe... Maybe he should take your surname instead. My surname? I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can't think of a lot of reasons why he should. I'd love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring as well with Wats, does it? Toby Wats? Eh, that fits. Do you have something else in mind then? Another name? How about Neil? Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. Or little Neil Watts. So in the real world, they postponed the pre uh, the the operation. Yeah, it's it's a tough, it's a really tough decision. Do you choose the child or the or the the mother? It's a choiceless choice, man. In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. So he grew up normal? He made it through childhood just fine. But instead of the child having complications, it was the wife. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatment couldn't revert your decline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Damn. Yeah, instead of the child, she has to use the breathalyzer. Still, perhaps out of the world to be there for him. He lived long past her prognosis. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends. Oh, she had friends at the mansion? The scientists? To leave something for him for when he grows up. Oh, so that he would know his mom. You left him a piece of your memories. That is sweet. At the time, there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday, you hoped. And instead of the child's funeral, we had the mom's funeral. When it rains, it pours. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. Ah... Uh, but hey, she lived her whole life. She lived a whole full life, didn't she? Well, not, not a whole life, but long enough. And she just couldn't get the treatment because she was pregnant. He's not gonna get pregnant. So he could get the treatment and live long enough. Right? Because she did in, in our timeline, where we in our simulation she did. But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here. Memento Mori. It stirred up something within him. Pushing him further. As it did for you. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close. Just the same like her mother. Like his mother. He wasn't successful with everyone. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked, 
So, what does that make you, the the program that we unlocked, this this new womanly figure? If it knows what her son did in the reality timeline, did he make this simulation? Not Linroy? All the way past the research he left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again, he was rejected by the foundation of your incident. So instead, he sought an alternate road. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfect technology. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks. With some help from a friend. He was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used it to fulfill last wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. A company called Sigmund Corp. Hmm, <laughs> Sigmund. It's a name that vaguely reminds me of something, but I. I don't remember. Not from this game, though, it's something totally different. It's been many years since then. In that time, he's aided countless patients and witnessed as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own accord with the hardware and data access. And today, in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in, and every world in the stack it stands upon. They are the result of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected. The first successful test? This machine he built, what is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. And without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to. To see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born. I wish I'd made a different choice then. I'm so glad that somewhere out there, I did. I'm so glad that he's made it. You know, is this something close to immortality? Because it's all about your notion of time, right? If only a second goes by in the real world and in a simulation, a whole lifetime goes by. I mean, that's crazy. It's all about perception and how you perceive time. If you perceive time as something infinite, then you are yourself an infinite being. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Even though at an infinite time, at a certain point in your infinite life, you will meet an end. So it's finite, but it's it's that long that it's almost reaching infinite, I guess. It's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundary of said events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Terminated? It's just one tangent. Can't you let it run just this once? That's probably what all the other tangents asked. But it's not just this one tangent. Out of the countless paths the test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I'm also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the foundation will fail and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But... The world aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go to. Detected. What, the cat? Rice bolts? 
You guys got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we are going, there is no protocol for them. They'll have to stay here. There's something shimmering at the end of this... I'm gonna call it Rainbow Road. Wait, we can walk? I can walk. I'm gonna check out the shimmering... Wait, there are a couple shimmering things here. What do we have? Oh, there's the hole. Yep. That's the lab, alright. Blew right out of there. The groundskeeper would be livid. We actually haven't seen the groundskeeper. Who is the groundskeeper? Hmm. This, this fountain statue. Is it there? It's not there. Cheeky. Uh, wait, nothing on the right? Come on. Really? Well, let's say your goodbyes to... Evolved Cat. And... Rice Bot? So, uh... You heard that, right? Affirmative. I am linked to Linry's data feed. But do not worry. For I am well versed. Well versed in what? In ceasing to exist. I am shutting down daily. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell until next time. Farewell, Rise Boss. And say goodbye to the cat. Hey, about what happened back there? I know, it was pretty scary, huh? <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Trying to look away from me, huh? Listen, I don't blame you for running. <laughs> to be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. Honest to God, I did not notice. No, I didn't. Did I notice? I actually forgot if I noticed. <laughs> On the other hand, uh, sorry I got the world deleted. I'd say curiosity killed the cat, but I guess we weren't ever even alive. I honestly still don't know what your deal is, but... Maybe I'll see you at a reboot one day and find out, yeah? Yeah, bro first. Take care, little dude. Meow. <laughs> Alright. I guess it's time. You doing okay? Hey, Linry? Yeah. Yeah. I'm more than okay. She's taking this pretty well. Well, um, I guess we're gonna go. Whoop, dropped off the roof, dead. End simulation. <laughs> that would be, that would be an ending. <laughs> well, shall we go? I guess we're gonna leave. Yeah, um, Lenry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Somewhere far, but you'll be among good company. Don't please, don't give her, don't give us clones. That's that's actually creepy. But good company? Are we gonna meet our son? Oh well, we're gonna see. Now this ride might be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seat or the back? Uh, front seat. It really doesn't matter to me. I guess then we can sit up front. All right, your call. Off we go. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be cursing this whole thing. <laughs> And away we go! 
literally leaving this world behind. Yep, there it is. Earth. We've reached our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones? What is all this? Okay, so it is what I was expecting. All of them in one place. I didn't expect them to be on the moon. But yeah, this is this is just creepy. Are these all versions of you from tangents where I materialized, yes. The salvageable ones at least. Wait, salvageable? What happened to the others? Salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but if we consolidate the ones similar enough, then there'd only be one set to deal with. That is the way to end the rogue infinite loops, but still keep you in a sense. Speaking of which, <laughs> drops us off. I think everyone's here. We're all being combined into one? Didn't that just delete all the other versions? Like, huh? There. Isn't that all better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. Oop, yep, there goes Earth. Into the void. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. What if we just, uh, you know, committed first-degree murder? <laughs> Took over this place and ruled the simulations? No? Nobody? Okay, fine. I'm just gonna let this run its course then. Oh, yep, there goes tentacles again. And it's gone. Finally. Some peace and quiet. You don't have to shake off your hand and be like it's some shitty dust or whatever. Have some respect. Well, it is a simulation, but damn. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. Well, this is a boring outlook. Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. Um, it feels wrong. It's like a fairy tale. A fairy tale is wrong in a certain sense. Like, there is no happily ever after thing. That's. That's a utopia. It feels wrong in a certain way. I don't know. It feels wrong to me. It will be a linear illusion with little resource required to maintain. But to you, it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. So they're gonna live quotation marks the rest of their life in a simul as a simulation? But when they die, they will actually get deleted? Huh. You hear that, Linry? We get to live the perfect timeline! She's not happy about it. Linry? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual right matter when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to see- No, you haven't! Oh! <laughs> There's more to see than uh, Quincy's liberal arts. All that truly matters anyway. Oh, come on. The Great Wall of- The Great- The Seven World Wonders are not- all that truly matters. <laughs> but... 
But what if you haven't? Exactly. I mean, I certainly had my world shattered too in more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? They may not be the reality, but they were still our realities and all that we'd know. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? What's beyond that gate? It may not be real relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit, in time to grow old together. What do you say, Lenry? Wanna go on this one last trip together? There we go. Go ahead. And also, who's to say this isn't just leading lambs to the slaughter with just an excuse of uh, a happy world laying beyond, but in reality there is no real world. It's just to make it less painful. Ah, uh, there is so many questions about this, really. <laughs> you don't wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. Well, here we go, I suppose. Off to our new life. Supposedly happy, even though I don't know how you could artificially create a happy life. But hey, it happened! They did it! Here we are. <laughs> wow, we even returned back to when we were little? <laughs> Whoa, I, I didn't expect that. Okay, we're, we're really gonna do everything from the start. Right. <laughs> I do find it a creepy thing like being able to find your relatives your dead relatives alive I'm not gonna say alive and well I'm gonna say alive in a simulation I think that would spark a new problem within people in the psychology matter like some people would have well people nowadays already have fear of letting go when something like this would exist it would it would get worse much 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 worse so this is their perfect life now huh <laughs> ah, the cat made a cameo. <laughs> they did their travels again. Pregnancy without the disease. So this time they would have a good pregnancy, yeah. End up with a healthy baby. Be able to spend all their time with the child. Watch the child grow up. Getting old. See that child get a girlfriend. Watch them grow up. Graduation even. Proud moment. Probably the proudest moment of parents. Graduation. Graduation and marriage. Those are the two proudest moments a parent could have, I suppose.
<laughs> uh, you can definitely see how their parent, how the parents are <laughs> keeping an eye on him. <laughs> you ain't having sex in a boat, little one. <laughs> Not before marriage. <laughs> Here we go, marriage. Maybe some grandchildren. Hopefully. Oh, we can run around. Cool. I know I have to go to the right, but I want to check this left side. The developer put effort into the map, maybe map, map, make, making. Wow, damn! What is wrong with me? I sometimes stumble over words. Like it's crazy. Uh, right. So we can talk to you if we can just. Time this right. Ah, okay, well, didn't time it right. Should be walking here. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, run off, you two. Uh, some guests? Wait, no, that's her son. Right? Yeah, that's her son, and that's her uh, daughter in law. Mm, madam, can I have this dance with you? Wait, no, she's on the other side there. <laughs> well, doesn't matter. We were happily married for many years. Doesn't matter. We would have gone to dance a few seconds with another lady, right? Okay, good. Dance with the dude. Wait, I have to stand on the other side. I, I can fix this. I can fix this. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Dance, dance, dance. Wait, is this the chef? No, it's not the chef. It kind of looked like it was the chef. Shaking his butt. Those are the parents. Her parents, I suppose. Definitely. I don't recognize all the characters. Even though I should, probably. <laughs> Shuffle. Oh. To the forest, we're, uh... Ex mm -hmm. We're excluding ourselves a bit from the party. <laughs> Keeping. Ah, no, they're not. Okay, so they're not back there. So they're here. Absolutely gorgeous. I also wish to see that uh, sky. Where I live, I don't see skies like that. I barely see stars, if any. Because of the light pollution. Oh, this, this, this goes way too fast. I wanted to see a little bit more about the life of those grandchildren. Okay. So... We're nearing the end of their lifetime. With their happy grandparents and soon maybe have some great great grandchildren. Maybe if they're lucky. Well. We had a good run, huh? The bestest. Time to say her goodbyes, I suppose. Yep, she's here. It's about time. This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But... I just wish he were actually here. He is here. He's been here this whole time. And from now on, he always will be. From now on, everybody will be.
that's a comforting thought. Thoughts. There we go. That was the end. They're gone. They've lived their happy life. And the memories are all that remain. And now they're all a part of you and I. The little dude. <laughs> is that a music box? Yep, it is. That was an absolutely beautifully made RPG Maker game. I'm just gonna say game into it. It feels. It feels. De degrading when I say M RPG Maker MV game. It's 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 just a f absolutely wonderful game. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well as I did. It's a little bit of a, a sob story, I know. I just want to bring the good stories, and Imposter Factory really brought a very good story. It portrayed the life of a couple of people very well. There were really a lot of cute moments, there were a lot of sad moments. I was actually this close to tearing up, but uh, I took breaks in between, so that's probably what saved me. If you're someone who is binging this whole series, or just binged it all, well, maybe you tear it up a little? Maybe. Like an absolute beautiful game, man. Definitely worth the money. Why don't you go and give some love to the game on Steam? Leave a review behind. I'll leave the link in the description so you can go and check it out yourself as well. So yeah, if you enjoyed, please do hit a like button. It always helps the channel. And well, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Oh wait, it continues. <laughs> Don't go just yet! Wait! Come back! <laughs> oh, Deal. There you are. I just can't hold it in anymore. I must confess to you. That's not funny. It's a little funny. Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripple. Ooh, wow, that seems degrading to that timeline, no? But still... Are you familiar with the Library of Babel? I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Uh, no. That's alright. It's this theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written or ever will be can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but... Once in a while, you reach for a book, and it just happens to be exactly what you need. What is happening to the program? What is that? A perimeter breach attempt. I gotta go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Huh? Oh, he's at home? <laughs> Perimeter breach. Dude, someone's just knock someone's just knocking on your door. Dr. Winters? Neil! I don't have your stapler, I swear. Oh, don't be silly. We were just nearby. Nearby now. 
very far an hour ago before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? So anyway, we were gonna go somewhere rad. You win. How rad? Surprisingly rad. Hard pass. <laughs> Dude, he's not a social man, he's a hermit. <laughs> Gee, somebody's a party pooper. Well, alright, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. You don't really think that's gonna. That's not gonna convince him, is it? I said, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. There's no way that will convince him. Is it gonna convince him? No. Dr. Rosaline. We might as well, Neil. Who knows, when will be the next time we'd be able to? Oh, he joins, actually. How'd you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the... Uh, why don't you close the door for him? Uh, it closed by itself. Is somebody in there? Hello? Uh... That was creepy. Especially since there was no answer. Ooh, it's a ghost! <laughs> Wait, why do we get this checklist? Wait, question mark? What is that question mark? What is that? Thank you for supporting the series through the years. Uh, I definitely did that. <laughs> no, I did follow the, the the game on Twitter. Yeah, Freebird Games. That's where I actually discovered it. And then uh, I went to Steam and bought it. But yeah, see you in the next one. Ciao.